Marjorie Harvey S. Kingpin husband is out and he's telling his whole truth. This tea is gonna be tea, y'all. You know, I, I love Marjorie to death. Yes, of she mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> She belonged to me. Hey, royalties, kings and queens. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Royalty, back with another celebrity relationship gist. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the MVP. P. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. Oh, God. You guys are going to have to sit down and probably grab you a drink for this one because it's a lot of teas to unpack. What's up you guys? So, Jimmy L. Townsend, ex-husband of Marjorie Harvey, he's been out of prison for a few years now, about four years, and he is finally ready to tell his whole truth. In a recent interview with Tasha K, online with Tasha K, he is spilling them teas, y'all. So, who is Jimmy L. Townsend? Jimmy L. Townsend was the first ex-husband of Marjorie Harvey, but this is how it all started. Jimmy, who was a successful D kingpin, you know what I mean when I say D, okay? Back in the day, met Marjorie at one of his club called The Illusions at the time. She was 18 years old and he was 32. Hmm. He gave her his number, she never did call. They met again at the mall. Yeah, he was with his side piece, even though he was married at the time. He had pulled up on a very expensive car, so about if Madri was a gold digger, as people always asked him. Everybody asked me, do you think she a gold digger? So I don't, to this day, now you know what, I never, I, I can never remember asking this girl. Did she see me when I pulled up in a Mercedes with this other woman? You know, we were young then, you know. Mm. So to this day, I don't know if she saw me or not, right? He doesn't know if she saw him pull up and thought he was a catch or accidentally ran into him on the mall because he felt like she was stalking him right in the mall. He gave her his number anyway, and this time she did call and they started to date even though he was married but to her defense he said she did not know he was married he kind of omitted that part of him to her but eventually she got to find out but did not stop dating him until he later got divorced with his wife because he said his ex-wife and i think the other side piece he was with they got involved in the d and that really ruined them and messed them up even though he did not know that they were doing that um, behind him. So that really ruined and messed them up. But Madri, she's smart. She never got involved in the use of D anyway. About Madri's background, he said she had an admirable stand-up good father who loved her to death. She also had a nice car at the time too and was already exposed to the good stuff of life. He already had kids and said he didn't want more, which Madri agreed, but she ended up being pregnant because she purposefully stopped taking the pills and he felt it was intentional. He said this broke her mom, but Madri wanted to keep it and so she quit college, even though he felt like she wasn't college material in the first place. They were together and he, by the way, he did not say that this in her. This man had a very calm, personal, relaxed. He was just dishing out this information, not really to throw shade. He was subtle and he was kind of also like protecting her image while he was talking. So I didn't get the vibes like he wanted to throw shade, but someone who was just ready to tell his story he even got tasha k in check because she kept saying you're too calm you're too cool you know that he made her even cool because he sees not always like that you, you know but it was a pretty good interview and because of his personnel it was really hard to adapt some of the things that he was saying this man looked like he had nothing to lie for anyway he and marjorie were together for six years but married for three years the pregnancy between them was the result of their daughter morgan now known as morgan Harvey. after being married they had their son together jason who is now jason Harvey. even though she was eight months pregnant with jason when the case that sent him to jail for over 27 years came up he was a big deal in the game that he took his right hand man to snitch on him 
for him to be nailed. So prior to this sit down two part interview with Tasha K on Wine with Tasha K, there has been numerous speculations and I dare say incorrect information surrounding Marjorie Harvey and her ex kingpin husband who has been put behind bars to do life without a possibility of parole. Some of this presumption was that Marjorie was a queen pin herself in the business with him, that Laurie was Jimmy's daughter, that he did time for Marjorie, and that Marjorie went on to marry his cousin when he was in prison. Hmm. Those are heavy, heavy speculations, guys. So he cleared it all up. Laurie Harvey is not his daughter, but the fruit of Marjorie's second husband, Daniel Woods. And Daniel Woods is not related to him. Now, let's kind of twist and unwind this whole Marjorie romance life because Marjorie had a little bit of a twisted romance life. So here it is. Marjorie once dated one Ricky guy who she later introduced to Jimmy and they were moving products together. And yes, Marjorie knew about his business. She knew his connect and had access to his money in case he was not around because he had to be on the street and they had kids. Yeah, she lived large. According to Jimmy, she has been buying expensive purses and bags for a long time. He would give her his car to go do shopping and then she would come back and spend 3000 and he'd be like, why you spend 3000 thousand girl you have access to ten thousand so he felt like he kind of contributed to her luxury lifestyle yes he was indicted and he would not give up Marjorie because she had a five-year-old baby and eight months pregnant for another so to answer the question about if he did time for her you got that answer yes Jimmy went to prison and Marjorie got married to her ex that is the Ricky guy's cousin Donald Woods who is supposedly Laurie Harvey's biological father. According to Jimmy, Ricky and some of the other guys in his connect, he brought them up in the game, but they went on to start their own thing as, you know, the guys in the D game always do. So about the rumors of Marjorie continuing in the business with her second husband, it's a possibility. See, in this interview, Jimmy only spoke on the things he knew and was sure about. So even though he went to prison, he was in touch with Marjorie regularly for 20 years. Even when she went on to marry her second husband, he said he was in touch with the second husband and thanked him often for taking care of his kids and that they were good until she married Steve Harvey. Marjorie even told him she was about to marry Steve and that he was a good guy like her father. And he knew Steve must have been the real D because Marjorie's dad was a real one, a stand-up guy, a real good man. He said he spoke to Marjorie on the phone three days to their wedding and after that till this day he never heard from her again. She changed her life and that's it. So there was no bad blood between them, but what happened? He doesn't know. He left us to draw our own conclusion. What is yours? Mine is big Uncle Steve didn't want the relationship to continue and he stopped her from being in touch with him. Hey, was he insecure? Jealous of a broke man in prison while he had everything going? Hmm. I don't know but hmm jimmy is a fine a man though and not messy tasha k who did throw down the compliment and some shade to uncle steve <laughs> she said jimmy is way handsome than steve is jimmy said marjorie could never deal with a big nose dude but oh well she is married to one now so is Steve having a little protective over his wife? In his recent interview with Shay Shea Podcast, he did say, Marjorie is mine. He recited it, mine. She is, she mine. What is you talking about? <laughs> she belonged to me, but I got news for you. I'm hers. I belong to her. So he might be a little protective over her cause nobody be trying to drag her with him though. <laughs> So Jimmy wrote a book, Snake in the Garden, and he said it's about his story, which Marjorie was a part of. So he's telling his story, everything with the hopes that it would help someone as he is a changed man now. Just like I said, in this interview, Jimmy L. Townsend personnel was so calm and relaxed. And he said it comes from reconciling his ways with God in the prison and knowing God. So he had wrote this book 13 years ago and put it down while he was in talking terms with Marjorie back in the prison he asked her if he could write the part of their story in his book and he also asked the other women in his life his other exes 
others and they all were cool with it, even Marjorie. He later resolved to not put it out. He said he was triggered to release his book and pick it up back into the shelf because Steve Harvey had called him a punk A in a video link sent to him by a friend. In that video, Steve Harvey was talking about his son Jason who was kind of rebellious at the time and told Steve Harvey that, hey, you're not my father. Jimmy Townsend is my father. And Steve Harvey was like, hey, where is your punk A father now? And he felt triggered because he was not a deadbeat dad. While he was still around, his daughter Morgan had the best of everything, the best school, private school, and he took care of her. He did not even get an opportunity to witness the birth of his son. So he said he felt a type of way hearing that and why Steve Harvey would say that to his son, with whom he had a very good relationship with, and he said Jason loves him for real. Another thing he said triggered him was how Marjorie treated his daughter Morgan. He said Marjorie treated his mother really, really bad. He feels Marjorie does not like Morgan's husband for whatever reason and that has affected her relationship with her daughter even though he thinks Margaret's husband is a great guy just like Marjorie's dad. Also Marjorie crossed the line years later when he was miraculously out of jail and trying to reconnect with his kids and grandbabies but Marjorie told Morgan she would not be attending her birthday party if her dad Jimmy was there putting Morgan in a tight situation to choose between them. He had to take the high road by having a Chick-fil-A date with his daughter Morgan the day before the birthday party so Marjorie could attend. But that it hurt him because he was not messing with anybody. He was just going to be behind the background and just be a part of the whole thing, trying to catch back the times he has missed. But oh well, that happened and that really hurt him because he had no bad blood with Marjorie. They were friends for 20 years while he was in prison. So what is all this so he finally put out his book snakes in the garden the untold truth and he said the book is doing well already with the sales well about the steve calling him a punk a to steal difference i think he usually throw the cuss word around but steve said himself the first time he reconnected with marjorie again after his divorce and her divorce he asked her about her punk a husband and i believe he wasn't talking about jimmy but her second husband at the time so I just said, so I you <laughs> his husband. That's the first thing. Sharp, first thing I said. Because he <laughs> ass dude to me. I still hold strong to that one. I've never retracted that statement. Okay. I said, how you <laughs> ass husband doing? Because I had heard she had got married. Right. Like that system. Can your Home. Go do something else. About his kids change of name, at first he said he really is not bothered about that because you know Steve Harvey took care of his kids, their responsibility and everything, although he did not like the way it was you know done with his son Jason because Jason was 17 years old at the time and just a few months left for him to turn 18 which means he would have his legal right to decide that on his own terms but he believes his mother made him do it because Jason kept trying to convince him, you know, I love you, dad, you will always be my blood and all of that. But it hurt him real bad because he thought Jason was going to carry on the Townsend last name. He knew this was not Jason nor Steve Harvey's doing at all. So who do you think was behind this and what was the motive? I'll let you all think about that. Well, you guys, this was a really long two parts interview, but man, there is a lot to unpack from this interview. But here are the few things I took away from me that he said, even though it was not a messy interview, because you all know that Tasha KB really changed since her issue in court case, you know, with Cardi B and all the money she's going to pay. So she's really kind of come on a different person. So this interview was not a messy, messy interview. And like I said, Jimmy is, doesn't look like the type of person to roll himself in the mud. He looks like a really cool guy. Anyway, some of the things that stood out for me from this interview was that he said he didn't need to ask Marjorie to do something like move product in the business. She wanted to do it. She had access to his connect and access to his money and all of those things. And also about whether he did time for her. Yes, he did time for her and he did not root her name out. 
He also did say she's not the brightest, but that she is a shrewd and that she's a good cook and family oriented. Tasha K also threw a little bit of shade saying that Marjorie is good at taking people's husband and Jimmy affirmed it that he was married when he was with Marjorie even though at the time he did not tell her he was married but she later knew and did not back out. Because Mary Harvey, Steve Harvey's ex-wife who claimed to have been there with Steve Harvey, you know, been homeless with him and suffered with him. All of a sudden, he left her high and dry to be with Marjorie Harvey, whom she accused of dating her husband while they were still married. Okay, and uh, most people think that Steve Harvey went in for Miss Marjorie, who has a lighter shade of brown and probably fits his celebrity status quo. He also called Marjorie a player for, you know, tricking him into a pregnancy even though he told her to take the pills, but she did not. Another thing that stood out was that he said he loves her till death despite all. He thinks she sold her soul to the devil, by the way. You know, I, I, I love Marjorie to death as a queen in spite of, in spite of, I truly believe she sold her soul to the devil because of what she's doing to the family as a whole. And it's not good. And and, I, and, I, and I'm telling you, I'm praying for her. I really am. That she would change and see. Anyway, you guys, that's it with this interview. What do y'all think? Do y'all really think Marjorie sold her soul to the devil? Do you think she's all about the luxury life, the glam, and she would do anything to be with the one that would bring the coins in? Do you think Mr. Jimmy L. Townsend should be telling his story at this time or should let sleeping dogs lie? Is it okay for him to tell his story even though it might affect the life of other people? I mean the mother of his kids? Because this past will be bringing up some dirty parts about Marjorie. And also to Big Uncle Steve, do you also get the vibe like he is a little bit insecure? And why should he be? Because Jimmy L says, Steve ain't got nothing to worry about. He don't got no money. He don't got nothing. But Steve has all of this media. So why should he be <laughs> insecure or worried about him? I wonder too. But what are your thoughts, you guys? Share your thoughts in the comment section. You all know I love to read from you. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. And so that's it pretty much in today's video. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you got to this point of the video, please do not forget to share, like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And until the next one, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and slay. <laughs> Bye. -bye.